car thieves know what they want. And this morning we want you to know too, to help you avoid the pain and hassle of getting your car stolen. New this morning, we have the hot list of the cars most likely to be stolen according to the insurance companies. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live with more on this. Matthew, these cars seem to kind of fit a pattern, huh? Yeah, they're either powerful, pricey, or in this case, it could be a pickup. Well, the reality is you drive a hoopty like this one right here, you could practically throw the keys and say, go ahead, take it. I don't care. And it's still probably less likely to get stolen than some of the cars at the top of the list. But the good news is if you know what ones are at the top of the list and you're in the market for a new car, you know what ones to avoid. You can also look for the ones in the bottom and get the best deal on a car that you know will cost less when it comes to insurance. The cars are powerful, fast, loud. Yes, the Charger and Challenger Hellcat can make a guy seeking big RPMs drool. Apparently, the fees do too. The whole vehicle theft claim rates for these vehicles are more than five times the all vehicle average. The folks over at Highway Loss Data Institute say the two modern day hot rods are far and above the two most commonly stolen vehicles as well. In fact, we've seen it here in our area. Like these thieves who broke a window, put this charger in neutral, then pushed it down the road in Roseville until they got away from Tarek Paul's home. I mean, obviously these guys are good. They're professional thieves, if that's a job title. In Detroit, we even saw car lots have to build up cement walls after a car theft gang broke in and drove off brand new Hellcats. The other top stolen vehicles, the Infiniti Q50, the Infiniti QX80, and the four-door GMC Sierra 1500 pickup but you can use this list to your advantage. Those low on the list tend to be cheaper to insure. And one other thing researchers found. You just push in, automatically opens. Fewer electric vehicles are being stolen. There's a belief that's due to a simple fact. With charging stations needing to be inside garages, there's fewer chances for would-be thieves to pull off those daring robberies. We've done a study looking at electric vehicles. And what we found is that electric vehicles are much less likely to be stolen than gasoline powered vehicles. Well, it's good to know if you're in the market to buy a car, but Matt, you know, is there a way to use this list for car owners who see their car on that list? Well, one of the things that you can do is keep an eye on the vehicles that are lower down on the list. If they're lower down on the list, not only is it going to be less likely to get stolen, it's going to be less costly to insure that vehicle. That's why I'm going to be posting it online at WXYZ.com right after the show. All right, Matthew Smith, thank you for that live update. We do appreciate it.